All right. So yeah, good morning and welcome to my uh, recorded lecture. Now, since I am back in uh, Bicol region where I am always encountering intermittent signal connection, now that's why I'm back with uh, giving a synchronous lecture. Okay. So also uh, disregard uh, the unnecessary noises that you will hear at the background especially yung mga yung mga passers by okay so yeah welcome to our first lecture in our subject video production okay so basically this course uh based from the name itself you now it suggests that this subject or this course is basically all about to produce a video or the process of producing a video content okay so for today's discussion, now here are the list of the topics that we will discuss. Okay, so of course, what is video production? Why do we need to study this course video production or why video production is important to us? Then we will proceed with the discussion of the stages and types of video production. Okay, so let's start our discussion you now with defining what is video production okay if we are going to define or to give a definition to video production now we can say that a video production is basically um, the entire process of creating a video okay in which uh, during this uh, during this time or in this generation that we have you no know, um, video promotion is something that is already a mainstream you now with every one of us. And video production is something that some of us are already using or are already familiar with. Okay. When it comes to, to YouTube, no, nandyan yung mga vloggers, uh, content creators, no, influencers, and they are uh, earning no, from the videos that they are producing and they are uploading in their YouTube channel. Okay. Let's say if you know how to dance or if you know how to make pa cute, no, or if you if you you know how to inspire or if you want to educate, no, there is the TikTok application that we are now using for uh, different purposes. Okay. Um the TikTok application now is being used not only to to cover no dance challenges or uh, para magpa sweet no or magpa cute na me and my jowa no diba tiktok is also now being used to educate no to inform or to persuade or to disseminate information okay and it really depends uh on the individual on how they are they're gonna use the platform okay it will really depend on how the individual will gonna make use of the process of video production no into something uh, use, useful okay so for me no uh, that is one of the reasons why we are taking the subject or why this course is included in your curriculum okay in the subject video production not that we will talk about is not just any ordinary video that we are using no let's say for, for personal entertainment or something the video production that we will discuss is all about a corporate video or should i uh, should i say a video for a cause okay now not only for you to learn uh the proper and basic knowledge when it comes to video production but also to appreciate uh this video production and make it something useful you no know, or something beneficial for our own sake you now in the future either you being an it professional or you being an educator no or doing the same thing okay kasi yun yung ano natin yun yung uh, uh, line natin okay and and learning something about this video production is an additional opportunity or an additional career no for the future no na talagang we can say that after you graduate from our program we can proudly say that we no the BBTE graduates are jack of all trades okay now once again uh, this video production is basically not the, the entire process of creating a video, okay? Whether it is a short film, a full-length movie, no, a business marketing video, a television commercial, music video, or other types of videos, 
Okay. Um, just to set your expectations, I'm not really good with uh, video editing, so don't expect so much from me na about video editing. Marunong lang ako pero hindi ako ganon kagaling. Okay, I can only do the basic. At least I'm honest. Okay, but when it comes to to giving you lectures or discussion about video editing, okay, maybe I will be inviting a professional uh, to give us that kind of lecture. But when it comes to the knowledge or discussion that we need to know in the subject, now you can trust me with that. Okay, so I think there's no need for me to elaborate more or to give you a long introduction about. Um, video production because it is something that is self-explanatory with us. Okay, now, now we are talking about why having knowledge in video production is something beneficial for us, or what is the importance? Now, why do we need to know all about this video production? Okay, why the subject is included in our curriculum? Okay, the reason for that is because there are so many uh, businesses now that offer video production as a service now same thing with there are also so many businesses that needs someone that can give them video production service okay so meaning to say if you have the talent or if you have the skills or the knowledge with this video production it is an additional job opportunity for you okay this will allow companies and even individuals that do not have any filmmaking experience or who do not have knowledge in video production or um, creating marketing video or other business-related videos to enhance their company image you know, and showcase their products and services. Okay. Now, for this video production you know, to be successful, there has to be much more behind than, uh, behind, uh, than just a guy you know, or, or someone or any individual with a camera. Okay, uh, the video must be targeted and distributed correctly or the video will only reach a small number of potential customers. Okay, in which tayo, no, as, as business educators or as future businessmen or businesswomen, no, kailangan natin matutunan that a video is something that most of the companies are using for them to present their business. Okay, to give information or details about the business that they are doing or about the products or services that they are offering okay and this video must be targeted and distributed correctly no, or the video will will only reach um a small number of potential customers or, or viewers no and a video um describing a general overview of your products or services no, is great in helping uh, that company no, or, or in helping them uh, in marketing or building its name okay that's why video production is something um, important no, for every businesses okay that's why it is also a good opportunity for those individual no, who has the talent or the, the capability or the knowledge in in uh in this uh video production okay so now um let's talk about let, let's start our discussion by uh yeah so let's start our discussion you now by giving you uh, first you know, the three stages of video production. Okay, so basically there are three stages in video production. Okay, as you can see on our presentation, we have the pre-production, the production, and the post-production. Okay, so this uh, these three stages. Um, no, include all aspects of video production. Now, from the moment na kung saan ang isang idea or isang concept is nag-pop out no, into our head to the moment that the video is released or uploaded to the public. Okay? And in this lecture video, we will attempt to discuss with you the clear definition of video, uh, video production by explaining no, the entire process or these stages of video production okay yeah so let's start with the pre-production okay 
this is the planning planning stage there will be no recording during this process just preparation okay so we have a concept development and project proposal no uh, an ideas form the script is written no the cast is selected visual storytelling and storyboarding and developing schedules okay this pre-production uh, stage or itong itong phase na ito no it involves all of the planning aspects of the video production process bago mag take ng video shoot no or bago mag filming okay of course this includes script writing no scheduling no and even casting okay kasi in, in this pre-production everything is organized no in preparation for the recording process of course no yung video na, na nakikita natin let's say like the the TV ads no the TV commercials um advocacy video no and such okay so before that kind of videos are actually produced okay of course you need the stage of pre-production okay syempre you need the concept first no you need to form an idea you need to conceptualize what you wanted to be an output for the the video na gagawin mo Okay? Kasi let's say kung gagawa ka lang ng video na hindi dumaan dito di, dito sa dito sa pre-production stage na ito, na hindi ka hindi ka hindi ka nag-form ng idea or hindi ka gumawa ng script no? or hindi mo muna pinag-aralan no, um, let's say imagine the waste of time na nagfi-filming ka or nagbi-video shoot ka na you don't have any uh, clear plans na no? kung ano yung ginagawa mo. Na no, kumbaga para kang nagsosolve ng math problems. Okay? You know the formula to use pero you don't know what are the given situations. Okay? It will be hard, syempre. I mean, it will be a waste of time. Okay? That's why in order for us no, to really maximize our time, we need preparations. And sa so kahit na anong bagay, kahit sa, kahit sa anong bagay, kahit sa anong bagay naman eh, no? Bago natin gawin, we need to make sure that we are prepared. Okay? Sa pagluluto, di ba, bago ka magluto, pina-prepare mo muna yung mga ingredients. Okay? Kung available ba yung mga kailangan mong ingredients. No, let's say, nag-decide ka magluto ng adobong manok. No, nag-isa ka na ng bawang, ng sibuyas. Then, for you to find out, wala ka palang manok. Okay? That's why we need to prepare first. Okay? So, the same logic goes with the video production. Okay? So, syempre, ganun din sa video production. Okay? Before you shoot a video or before you film, you need to prepare for it. Kasi nga, we need preparations. Okay? That's why the first stage of uh, the, the first stage of uh, video production is itong tinatawag natin na free production. No, in pre-production is important. Okay? So, before you shoot a video, you need to prepare and you need to be organized. Or you need to organize everything for the recording process. Okay? Unang-una na dyan, yung, yung scene location. Okay? Do you have the place na appropriate dun sa theme or sa concept ng shoot mo? Or if you don't have any location, do you at least need a studio? Uh, let's say, do you need a green screen or or, or, or a blue screen? No? Something like that. Okay? Minsan, you also need to... to you, you need a script nor a storyboard. Um, especially if the video that you are going to produce no needs a story no, or something okay especially yung mga commercials no uh, yung mga advocacy video no yung mga documentary films no mga short films okay since there is a script needed okay minsan you also need to check if the script is edited and revised no if necessary syempre okay and you also need to check if there is an outline for the entire recording process that you need to follow no especially if you are if you are the the videographer no syempre you need the outline okay and there are a lot of things uh, to check okay there are a lot of additional factors na kailangang ma-review as well okay isa sa mga hindi isa sa mga hindi dapat nawawala is the the proper lighting no sa bawat eksena na i-shoot no the sunlight or the artificial uh, lighting ba yung kailangan mo? Uh, do you need to film? Uh, kasi you also need to check the time of the day. No? Kailangan ba sa eksena 
uh, kailangan umaga, kailangan ba ng gabi, kailangan bang makita sa video na hapon or something, and also the weather, the weather condition. Okay? So, bawat eksena, that's why um, no, it must be clear, uh, carefully chosen no, and it needs to be prepared as well. Okay? So, after the after the necessary preparations no or after the pre-production stage okay once all the cast or characters are ready no the script are edited edited and approved the location the setup is ready no the next stage is the production okay this is the phase of the video production with which captures the video content and involves filming the subjects of your um video okay so when we say um dito sa dito sa production na to in this production stage no it is the phase uh na kung saan you are already acting no or doing kung ano yung mga nasa plans uh ninyo no na what to shoot or ano yung mga gusto niyo makita sa video okay in which in this stage no minsan it's normal na minsan pa ulit-ulit no nagre-retake or nagre-reshoot depende dun sa uh, sa satisfactory level ng videographer okay kung satisfied na ba siya dun sa take niya na uh, na magiging angkop dun sa expected output or at outcome or do you need to retake it okay so then after the production itself okay of course yeah the next stage is the post production okay when we say post-production, it is the action of selectively combining those video clips through video editing para mabuo yung finished product that will tell the story no, or that will communicate the message dun sa video na pinuproduce natin. Okay? In this post-production, no, it covers um, all actions no, that are performed after the actual shooting of the video has been completed okay this includes merging of each scene no or syncing the audio and the video then editing the those videos and video no then adding special effects to make the video interesting to watch okay so after we discuss no after we discuss the the, the three no stages of video production Okay, so once again, the three stages of video production, we have the pre-production in which it's all about the preparations na kailangan natin. Okay, after that, after we prepare uh, the, the production itself, it is the actual shooting or filming no, of, of the scenes no, that we wanted na makita dun sa video na ipoproduce natin. Then the last one is the post-production. No? Ito na yung you are combining or you are syncing all the scenes that you capture. Then you add special effects if needed. Okay? Then you add uh, audio and uh, audio visual. Okay? So, after discussing the, the three stages of video production. Okay? So, let's proceed on Yeah, so let's let's talk about no, the different types of video production. Okay? So, syempre possible right now, no, if I'm going to 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 ask you, ano ba ang alam nyo na, na na different types of videos? Okay? Possible your common answers would be film, uh, movies, TV commercials, no marketing video, vlogs, no wedding uh, wedding videos. Okay? No, that, that's correct. Tama naman. No, but in this subject, no, the term video production no, is reserved only for content, create, uh, content creation that is taken through all the stages or phases of production. No, yung diniscuss natin kanina. No, and the video production should be created with a specific audience in mind. Okay? Kasi possible, let's say umaaten tayo, tayo ng concert ng favorite nating banda. No, or favorite nating singer, no, or kunwari may mga tropa tayo or family members na nag-perform or something, okay? Normally, what we are doing is nilalabas natin ng mga smartphones or Android phones natin, no, kung medyo RK, no, or rich kid, na ilalabas ang DSLR or video camera, and we will record that moment. But the sole purpose of capturing that memory, no, would not fall 
under the category of video production. Okay, because it is just a home video or a video just to capture the moment or the memories. Okay, now ano ba itong different types of video production? Okay, so we have five types of video productions. Okay, um, recently, no, since everyone are just staying at home or or need to stay at home, no, karamihan sa atin in order for us para hindi ma-boring, no, most of our times are used in browsing the social media. In karamihan sa atin, we stay more on watching videos, no, sa Facebook, sa Twitter, sa YouTube, sa TikTok, no, and kung saan-saan pa, no, depende na lang sa kanya-kanyang trip, no, kung anong klase ng video ang kinapanood natin. Okay? But I'm trying to say is that videos, no, are something na mas Naka, nakukuha or na nakakatch ang attention natin. Okay? Um, let's say for example, na may may uh, nakita tayong nakapost online about sa isang balita or isang news. Okay? Normally, there is a written article about that news. Pero, we are not contented by just reading it. Now, what we are doing, kahit nabigyan na, ta, kahit nabigyan na tayo ng idea mula dun sa written article na nabasa natin, Pipinditin, pipinditin pa rin natin yung play, uh, play video button no? because we wanted to watch the video. Okay? And if you notice, if we will, com- uh, if we will compare, no, kunwari sa, sa TED Talk, no? if you are familiar with TED Talk or TEDx, okay? let's say, written ang ideas ng TED Talk, which is worth spreading. No? There is already a great content being published or posted in print or written but when we post or publish the TED videos, no, ito yung it gets more more numbers of shared posts no, or the video will go viral kesa dun sa written. No? Bakit? Kasi uh, no, why most of us prefer the video rather than the written content? Okay? It is because no, the, video, the, the video medium has a real ability to hook. No? Yung tinatawag natin na to hook. H-O-O-K. Okay? To hook viewers or para makuha ang interes or para makuha mo yung attention ng viewers. No? Kasi mostly, through the video medium, no, we engage emotionally. Okay? Minsan, if the video is too emo- emotional, no, magugulat, ka, magugulat ka na lang, umiiyak ka na rin pala. No? Or minsan, lakas ng tawa mo kasi natatawa ka no? or naiiyak ka. We are engaged emotionally. No? Which is, um, it, it only means that in video production, no, you are a storyteller na kung saan you communicate your ideas. No, you communicate the value of the ideas. No, in, 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 in an easily uh, digestible, no, efficient manner no, that makes an impact on the viewer. Okay? That's why no, meron tayong five main types or categories of video productions. Okay? Kasi halos karamihan ng companies and organizations of all sizes are now adapting on using the video as a medium no, to convey the message or the idea that they want okay, that they wanted their viewers to know. No, kasi right now, no, we can say that the video is the best idea conveying medium. No, kasi yung mga videos, it doesn't simply tell a message. Instead, it displays the meaning. Okay? So, the first type of the video, the first type, no? Uh, let's start with the first type of video production, which is the educational videos. Okay? Itong educational um, videos na ito, no, are excellent examples of teaching and learning concepts. Okay? Um, as video uses the primary senses of sight and sound, okay? Um, using video in education, it allows concepts no, na mas maituro or mas matutunan ng mas madali no, and be retained better than reading off a page, okay? No, and this is something na napag-aralan natin no, in one of our profit subjects, okay? Uh, thanks to the models of multi-model learning no, in uh, dual coding theory. Kung naalala nyo pa, yung multi-modal learning and dual coding theory, no, which have shown that communicating with visuals and sound 
simultaneously will greatly increase no, the comprehension and retention of ideas. Okay? So in other words, sa pamamagitan nitong educational videos na ito, no, it has the ability to show a concept through the use of of editing no, and, and video production okay, that will allow the viewers to truly understand the concept na pinapakita and at the same time, dinidiscuss dun sa video. Okay? So here are some examples. Yan. Now, so it, here are now some of the examples of educational videos. Okay, remote online classroom instruction, online courses with video lessons. Now, this is what we are doing. How to training videos. Um, what else? Student show and tell videos, webinar informational videos video lesson series, animated explainer videos, okay? Now, and in this type of video production, now, which is the educational video, now, it is something that will be beneficial for all of you in the near future, now, once you decide that you also wanted to teach, now, having an idea on how video production, now, works well, now, will really help you. Okay? Uh, kasi sa pamamagitan ng pagpuproduce nitong educational videos na ito, no, it delivers real understanding for the audience. And ang kagandahan nito is that educational videos can easily share complex ideas no, and educate your students properly with comprehension. Okay? So the next type of video production, so after after natin sa education related no doon naman tayo sa business related and that is the promotional videos okay so um ito namang promotional videos na ito no um have become exceptionally popular with the convenience of wireless internet and mobile devices no and yung mga businesses um they start realizing no that they can afford and use video with their marketing. Now, this style of videos have adapted quickly no, to, to habits of the, the modern viewers. Normally, ito yung mga short length videos that will share relevant information, no, engaging style and available no, kung saan yung mga viewers might be interested in viewing. Now, and then ideally, sharing the video with their social media pages no, if it's something that really catches their attention, and if in case naman, let's say, as a viewer, no, you are not interested, you will just skip ads. Okay? With with a promotional video, no, the choice the choice to watch is with the viewers. Okay? The person will be interested to watch the video if it will offer a solution to their problem, no, and presses the play button. And if in case naman that you are not interested, as a viewer, no, you can choose to stop viewing at any time. Okay? Pipindutin mo lang yung skip ads button. Okay? Kasi katu um, hindi katulad nung, nung sa TV and radio ads or billboard ads, no? Um, which is intrusively, uh, which intrusively play, no, without the viewer um, having control. No, yung tipong rinding-rindi ka na or 
LSS ka na masyado, wala kang magagawa, no? Especially yung 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 LRT, yung, yung mga ads sa LRT before, no? Na no, naalala ko tuloy every time sasakay ako ng LRT, uh, makakabisado mo na lang talaga yung sayaw at kanta ni, ni Zura Mires, no? I choose I choose mojito, no? JSM blue. Yan. So that's that's how advertising works. Okay? Not unlike uh, promotional videos no, that the viewers has the option to play or to skip. Okay? Itong promotional video na ito, it is targeting a very specific viewer. No, and, uh, and it, uh, it speaks to their needs. No, and itong promotional video na ito, it has the art of persuasion and rapport, building rapport. No, nakatulad ng isang, uh, ng isang uh, salesperson no, na kung saan the viewer will ideally feel that the video is offering a value and it is their choice to respond to the call to action. Yan. So, pag sinabi natin taking action, no, ito yung, yung likes or shares sa mga uh, social media pages. Okay? Or let's say once you purchase, no, ito yung common goal for marketing through promotional video. Okay? And here are the examples of promotional videos. No? Andiyan yung talking head videos, corporate videos, testimonial videos, presentation videos, explainer, human resource, unboxing, product demonstration, real estate tour videos, event, presentation, keynote slide, presentation, advertising videos, comparison videos, giveaway videos, product review and announcement and destination videos. Okay? So, let's proceed with the third type of <clears throat> video production which is yan, uh, yan. this is the third type of video production no? the information videos okay ito namang information information videos Okay. Um itong information videos na ito, no, these are the most uh, simplistic type which is it is cut, no, and dry information that is delivered as succinctly as possible. No, pag sinabi nating succinctly, ini-explain siya in a brief and uh, clearly um express manner. Okay? Journalism, no, is a good example of purely informational video. Okay? na kung saan the news and information videos give you the sounds and, and the sights of the news, uh, news events, no? as if you were right there on the location. Okay? Na kung saan there is no need to, to imagine what might be going on, no? kasi nakikita mo na yun, naririnig mo na yun for, for yourself. Okay? Lalo na halos karamihan sa, sa atin, no? we have smartphones having an HD or 4K cameras with video capabilities. No, news gathering is now in the hands of common people. Okay? So here are the examples of information videos. Okay? Syempre nandiyan ang television newscast, interview question and answer videos, streaming video online, news websites, uh socially shared news snippers na pag sinabi na uh, snippets rather. Yeah, pag sinabi nating snippets, it is a small part ng ng video, okay? Of course, nandiyan din ang public service announcements. Okay? So, the next type of video production is the documentary films and videos. Okay? Pag sinabi nating documentary film, no, it is a non-fictional uh, picture, no? Uh, intended to to document some aspect of reality. Okay, primarily for the purpose of instruction. Okay, education or, or maintaining a, a historical record. You know? But bear in mind you know, that right now, uh, most of the, the documentaries are, are mostly shot digitally you know, rather than using the celluloid film. 
Uh, itong celluloid film na ito, ito yung mas kilala natin as the negative, no, yung color brown. Okay? But going back with with the documentaries, no, uh, documentaries are typically a mix of entertainment and information, no, dispensing, uh, information dispensing, and it's very popular. Okay? And there are also different types of documentaries. No? And I think there's no need for me to elaborate more or to discuss each type kasi hindi naman tayo journalism students. No? But um, yeah, to elaborate more what is documentaries because it's something that we are already aware of. No? And ako personally, I, I'm a fan of, of watching documentaries or documentary films no? and videos. I'm a fan of eyewitness. No? And it's a good example na nagpo-produce ng mga uh, documentaries. Okay? So and just to give you the the, the examples no, of, or the genre of the, the documentary. So we have the poetic, the observational, reflexive, performative documentaries, expository, and participatory documentaries. Okay? Now, and the last type, yan. The last type of video production is the entertainment videos, okay? Which is, it is the fun stuff, okay? Entertaining videos, um, no, simply for, uh, inter entertaining videos, no, simply for entertainment sake, okay? Kumbaga parang, um, in this type of video production, Ayan, sorry. <laughs> Naglolo ko ang ating internet. I'll just fix it. Hold on. Ayan. Konti na lang. Malapit tayo matapos. Ayan. Okay. Now, so going back, no, in this type of, of video production, no, in, in entertainment videos, now, the sky is the limit, okay? And many of the prior examples of video can fall under entertainment as well. Wait lang, umuulan. Okay, so, um, no, it, it, it is not hard uh, and fast category, no? Itong mga entertainment videos na ito can vary in scope, no? In genre and in purpose, Okay? Um, let's say, for example, yung mga videos on Netflix. Uh, the online movies, the YouTube video blogs, no, the video clips, and more. No, all, all of that uh, fall under the scope of entertainment. Okay? So here are the examples of entertainment videos. Yeah. Okay? So music videos, travel videos, Automotive enthusiast videos, wedding videos, comedy videos, YouTube channel vlogs, reality shows, movies, episodic drama shows, no? streaming services, okay, ito yung Netflix, ito yung Amazon Prime, ito yung Hulu, no? the solid media, the DVD, and the Blu-ray disc. Okay? <laughs> anyway, so moving forward, no, uh, those are you no, know, those are the the main uh, five types of video production, okay. And there are so many varieties of videos, you know, and so much crossover and overlap, you know, that the video uh, combinations, no, uh, and and uh, lists, you no, know, could seemingly go on forever, okay. Yung mga types of the videos that we discuss no, help helps outline the, the genres of videos. Okay? Na kung saan all of the video, uh, all of the video types no, share the goal of sharing a story no, 
or knowledge with its audience or with its uh, viewers. Okay, so in this regard, um, they are all uh, the most basic type of video. Okay, informational, na kung saan all the Okay, na na kung saan all videos have a target audience in mind. Okay, whether it is narrowed down to age, uh, to language, to gender, or political opinion. Na na kung saan we discussed that in, in the pre-production stage, ito yung isa sa mga uh, pinaplano no, kung sino ang magiging audience. Okay, na kung saan aside from informational or entertainment, it, it is also a factor no at some level no kasi if the video is not engaging no, the 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 viewer will simply not not hear no the message no or else the video will be useless no kasi diba videos can be boring anymore no due to short uh, attention spans ng mga nanonood sa kanya okay so before uh no, so before I end this lecture no which is umuulan na nagkakahina ng ating connection now before I end this lecture no, I would like to, to leave this message now by Lisa Lovin no, in which she said that the video informs and entertains good or bad today most people prefer to watch a video rather than read a page or text okay no um, what this message is trying to tell us is that the amount of information no, contained in one single frame of the video can take three pages to describe. No? And we uh, people or viewers no, nowadays uh, will be more engaged when we watch a video. And it's an opportunity for every businesses no, to, to take advantage of using videos. Okay? And we... No, as future uh, business persons no, or business owners or uh, business educators, no, it's important for us to value having knowledge and to love this video production. Okay, so so far that is our lecture for today. Now, if in case you have questions, uh, since this is a synchronous lecture that you can watch any any time at your convenience. If in case you have questions, kindly comment it down on the comment section. And if in case the video is clear, no, please acknowledge as well on the uh, the comment section. Okay. So for our next lectures, since we are no, we are now done with our discussion about the three the three stages of production. No, we are going to discuss each concepts na ginagawa in that every stages. Okay. So we will start next week with our discussion for the pre-production stage, you know, the concept development and product, uh, yeah, project proposal. Okay, so that's all. And in order for me to, to identify if you are done watching the video, please comment down your section and your last name and your takeaway or your learning after watching this lecture video.